Today, I'm in the kitchen and I'm going to cook a three course meal using my toaster. Have I lost the plot? Probably, but you'll be here on the journey too. Let's go. Hello everyone, it's Dale Campbell here coming at ya with another video. Yes, by that weird and wonderful intro, we are cooking a three course meal using my toaster. This is not clickbait. You have to watch this video. There is so much on the line. I have the fire brigade on standby. So let's run through what the various courses will be. For course one, we're going to have some avocado on sweet potato. Oof, well, starting off strong, we'll see if we can toast the sweet potato. <laughs> the main is going to be the riskiest thing I have ever done, and I do have the fire brigade's phone number on speed dial, but we're gonna try steak and these potato minis. And for dessert, we're gonna see if we can grill toast some pineapple to have with yogurt. Happy April Fool's Day, by the way. <laughs> uh, we've got the menu, we've got the toaster. I think it's time that we get started with round one. Course one, not round one. Round one, fight. No, what? <laughs> what was that? Round one, yes, fight queen. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, I have lost the plot. Happy April Fool's Day. <laughs> so here's where things get interesting because I am filming by myself today. So we're going to have to do a lot of the prep off camera. I'm going to thinly slice this. Oh no, I'm going to unpack my toaster first. Let's unpack the toaster, thinly slice our potato and get started with this video. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my life anymore. Ooh, here's a question. Should I do skin on or skin off? I'm going to do skin on because I feel like that'll add some crispy skin. Hashtag crispy skin gang in the comments below. No? Okay. I've got my sweet potato here and we're just going to go like that, I suppose. I've got it plugged in and on the highest setting. Here we go. Oh God. What have I signed my name up for? I'm sweating. It is hot in here. And I even have the AC running, but woo, cooking over a hot toaster. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what that is. All right, let's check this potato. It's getting softer. I wouldn't say it's cooked yet. I'm going to give it one more go. I'm going to keep an eye on it, but it's definitely cooking in comparison, so let's give it another whirl. I think that is pretty much done. Yeah, that's, oh, that's gross. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty much done. Oh, that was disgusting. So I'm gonna get this plated, then we're going to we're gonna get this plated, and then we're gonna move on to the next course and then present them all at the end. Oh boy, it's gonna be a long afternoon. Here we go. Now, it's time for some mistakes. <laughs> See, get it? The moment we've all been waiting for. But I am gonna marinate, not marinate, but I'm gonna season these with some paprika some onion powder, celery salt, which I'm desperately trying to get rid of, so I'll put it on literally anything at this point, and mixed herbs. And some leftover reject shop salt and black pepper as well. So let's get those. We need to get them shaped up so they fit inside the toaster. Also, oh, I gotta play with my meat. <laughs> Here's the steak and 
Here it goes. Au revoir, good friend. By which I mean I've got to do another one because I didn't do two. <laughs> They're both in there. Oh my god, I am so nervous for how this will go. I've never been so nervous for a YouTube video in my entire life. But I'm going to turn the camera off, so I need to focus on this. But if you look real close, it looks like they're cooking. All right, I don't think they're cooked yet, but I'm going to give it another go. Then we're going to take, try and take them out very carefully and see how they're doing. I'm so nervous. Yeah, I have turned it down half because I don't, I don't want it to catch fire. <laughs> also, while the toaster is doing its second round, I'm confident it won't catch fire. Well, don't talk with that into existence. Uh, you might be wondering why, how am I gonna do the pineapple and the potato wedges? Well, I'm gonna be cheating a little bit. I'm gonna be using these toaster bags. They're designed for grilled sandwiches, but they can be used for anything, they're reusable. So I'm gonna be putting the potato gems in there. I'm I'm only gonna do these two steaks. I am worried as hell about these steaks in the toaster. So we'll see what happens. You guys, those are cooked steaks. Oh my God, let's get them out of there on a plate. I'm not doing any more. Here's what they look like. I will do the taste test later on. This looks like a massacre, but we're gonna keep going. I've got my toaster bag here. Oh, it's not going in. Uh, I have to take some out, hang on. Okay, so I'm gonna use our regular toaster, our backup toaster, and just crank that volume all the way up. That volume. <laughs> the toaster volume. The toaster volume all the way up and cook these. Um, it should be fine because they're protected. Let's see, let's see how these bad boys turn out. I'm gonna turn on. See how these bad boys turn out. Potato gems looking nice and crispy. Gotta get them on the plate and start on dessert. I have a bag. I have pineapple. Uh, pineapple bag. Bad joke. Let's finish this video off. Alrighty, so. The cooking process has come to a close. Oh boy. Now it is time for the taste test. I am gonna be honest with you guys. I have already seen what these look like and I can say they look fucking amazing. <laughs> I'm actually impressed on how visually attractive all of these look. But without further ado, let's do the taste test. First up, we have sweet potato, avocado, and cheese dish. <laughs> I don't know what to call this, uh, but the sweet potato was put into the toaster, the cheese I, and mayo I've added, and avocado I've added on top, and the heat from the sweet potato has melted the cheese, keeping it cheesy. <coughs> Ding. Um, <laughs> interesting. Uh, but so they, <laughs> I don't know what to go from. I don't know where to go from here. Let's dig in. Let's see what I have in store here. Ooh. The potato is soft, so getting it onto the fork, got a bit of everything on that mouthful. Oh. Whoa. Holy far out. Are you kidding me? That's baked potato. I'm crying. <laughs> I'm so emotional. I was not expecting that to taste so good. Whoa. Ha! Oh, wow. That's proper baked potato. I'm shocked. Next up, this is the one that everyone told me not to do. So, and I will say this, do not 
try this at home. There were some sparks that came out of the toaster. Mind you, it is an $11 toaster, so quality's not great. But without further ado, we have our toaster steak and potato gems. This one, now this one, for honest God, do not try this at home. Admittedly, this is a low cut piece of steak and I blew a couple of fuses, so it's not worth it. Use an air fryer, use a pan, use an oven, use literally anything. Not a kettle, but, and not a toaster, but use literally anything else. But does it taste good? Whew. Like this is after two tries. I'm just going to, this is what it looks like. So it's not, it is, it is cooked. It is a thin piece of steak. It is low grade. Let's see how it goes. I'm so scared. What is happening? What? That is revolutionary. What? Okay, like that's a seared steak. It's not grilled, it's not cooked amazingly, but it tastes pretty good. For something that you know, oh, I'm talking with my mouth full. If my mom's watching this, she'll be disappointed that I'm talking with my mouth full. Sorry, mom. But for something that has been cooked in a toaster to hold the juices and seasonings, like, to hold its seasonings. It's a toaster. Everything falls to the bottom of it. It slides off. It's a toaster. <laughs> what? How? How is this? What? No. no. I'm not cooking my steaks, like, in a toaster at all, but... Only thing I have in the hotel room is a toaster. I'm, uh, I'm upping my public liability insurance. That's all I'm saying. How are the potato gems? Now, these took forever. Hmm. They got a bit of crunch to them. I like these. Like, it's not hot, obviously, because it's been sitting for, again, Sorry, mum, I'm talking with my mouth full. <laughs> like, these have been sitting for a little bit, so I'm not surprised that they have softened, but they've got, like, brown bits on them. So, if served hot, they, they would be all right. Like, what is happening? Am I, I'm having a fever dream. What is this? The toaster bags came in clutch too, like, you know, the, the toaster bags, the plastic ones in a toaster. Who would have thought plastic and to um, a toaster would mix, but here you go. Yeah, like what? That's a good standard meal that will get you by. What, what is this? <laughs> and finally, no meal is not complete without dessert. So ladies and gentlemen, I present to you toasted pineapple with Greek yogurt. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I'm dripping it all over my face. By the way, I am so dirty and sweaty and gross. Like a toaster is no fun to slave over. Greek yogurt's Greek yogurt, but it's got pineapple juice in it, so. Better. So let's try this toasted pineapple. I'm disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I waited so long for this. <laughs> I waited four cycles for this pineapple to be what it is. I don't know if it's just because it's been on the Greek yogurt that it's gone all slush 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 but it's got charred grits on it but it doesn't 
doesn't taste great. It doesn't necessarily wow me. I'm not gonna lie, unfortunately. When I was younger, I used to go to Red Rooster a lot and I used to get grilled pineapple fritters. And I don't know why I thought that putting pineapple in a toaster would have that same effect. Who knows, but yeah, I mean, on its own, it would probably be okay. But yeah, with the Greek yogurt, it just wasn't, it's not as revolutionary as the steak or the sweet potato, I'm not gonna lie. Alrighty, so that's the taste test all complete. I've gotta say, we tried those dishes all in order. The best was the sweet potato dish. The second best was the steak and potato gems. And the third best, is <laughs> we're all that positivity here on the Dale Campbell YouTube channel. The third best was that Greek yogurt pineapple dish thing. So there you go. Not really a, a hit, unfortunately. So there you go. If you enjoyed this bizarre video, for some reason, please do consider giving it a like. Comment what appliance I should try and cook it with next. We've done kettle. We've now successfully completed toaster. I thought I was gonna burn my house down. I put it all out on the line for all of you today. So please smash the like button. Ring the bell of uh, videos coming next. This is such a fitting video for April Fool's Day, isn't it not? Hope you're all having a safe and friendly April Fool's Day. Safe and friendly April Fool's Day, is that a thing? Hmm. It is now. If you wanna follow my many Instagram adventures, you can over on my Instagram, at the Dale Camper. That's T-H-E-D-A-L-E-C-A-M-P-B-E-L-L. -L. We're in the thick and the throes of the Mario Kart 64 playthrough. So you got a lot of that coming your way up next. So without further ado, I've been Dale Camper coming at ya. Thank you so much for watching. Comment what your favorite dish was down below and what I should cook with next. And remember, Keeping it cheesy. <laughs> Bye.